Good evening, and welcome back to Soothing Art Talks with Emily Tavija. Today we will be covering a very riveting piece, The Toilet of Venus by Simone Vouet. Stick around to hear thoughts from our special guest, Sammy Dog. Let's dive right into the painter himself. Simone Vouet was a painter born in Paris. His father was a painter and taught him the fundamentals of art. When he was young, he was such a brilliant painter and was commissioned at the age of 14 to go to England to paint a portrait. He has many different paintings, but most follow the Baroque style. It is a very common theme for his colors to be similar and for the paintings to have almost theatrical expressions on their faces. Let's look at the painting itself. The piece was made in 1640 and currently resides in the Carnegie Museum of Art. The painting is a little over five feet tall and three feet wide. In this, you can see the Roman goddess of love, Venus. She's staring at herself in the mirror, admiring it, whilst the cherubs are dancing around her. This piece is visually interesting because of the dramatic colors and poses of them. In the back, you can see a curtain opened to give the piece a more theatrical feeling which is a very important trait in the Baroque style. Drama is a very important for this time. We can also tell that it's Baroque because of the dark background and the obvious light source. This light source creates dark and sharp shadows. You can see how the light source is on the left side and it's probably exaggerated. Personally, for me, the figures in the piece are the most visually interesting. The pose and the reflection on the piece is what drew me to this work. The women in this are more natural than what we have seen in the past. They are rounder and fuller. The proportions are very nice. We see realistic hands and feet. We are also able to see chunky babies, which is more natural than what we have seen recently. We also see that they are very theatrical in their poses. And we can take time to appreciate the colors in this painting. One of the colors I'd like to point out is on the amphora, which we see in the bottom right corner. It is very gold in contrast with the rest of the painting. For those of you who don't know, an amphora is a very tall, ancient Greek or Roman jar. There are two handles and a narrow neck. Also, in the paintings around it, there are many reds and blues, which contrast the amphora and also symbolize wealth at the time. Overall, I think this piece is visually interesting and brings to question what is going on. We can come to appreciate all the folds in the fabric and the beautiful poses in this piece. There are also many symbols or Easter eggs in this piece. We see a face in the folds of the curtain behind the back with a cloak in its mouth. The cherub's wings are full of color. There is a trail of flowers that seems to be holding up the mirror. And there are doves what seem to be fighting in the bottom left corner. This is such an interesting piece, and I feel as though anyone could grow to appreciate it. It's very interesting, and you can clearly see the Baroque style. Well, you heard a lot from me. Let's hear a quick review from Mr. Sammy Dog. He is our oldest animal art reviewer at the ripe age of 14. We know that art has no species, and everyone can enjoy it. Also, a quick headphone warning. Sam is very vocal and maybe loud. Please enjoy his review. Wow. He is never this positive with his art reviews. He said he enjoys the colors and the sharp shadows. He also enjoys when hand and foot proportions look semi-realistic. Sammy recommends that you look at this piece and spend time finding Easter eggs like he did. Thank you so much for listening to this art talk. We'll see you again soon.